Inside Out from the year 2015 is still considered one of the most successful Pixar movies of all time. Totally deserved. The film also won the Oscar in the category Best Animated Feature at the Academy Awards. It was all the more surprising that nothing about a possible sequel to the film was made known for years. But at Disney's D23 Expo last year, the time finally came and Inside Out 2 was officially announced. In it, the story around Riley and her emotions will continue to be told. In today's original, we take a brief look back at part one and tell you everything you need to know about the sequel. Let's take another quick look at what the first movie was actually about. We experienced the birth of Riley and the start of her emotion headquarters. From now on, the emotions joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust work together to take responsibility for Riley's actions and save her memories. The really important memories are stored as core memories, which form Riley's personality. This is made up of, for example, family, honesty, ice hockey, friendship, and fooling around. However, all is put to the test when young Riley moves with her parents from rural Minnesota to San Francisco. After sadness touches on a memory on the first day at Riley's new school, she begins to cry. Sadness also causes arguments with Riley's parents, whom she accuses of being to blame for her distress. In an attempt to salvage the situation, joy and sadness are conveyed into the labyrinth of long-term memory. With them, the core memories also vanish, and so the two must try to find these again in order to preserve Riley's personality. A race against time begins as they both relive Riley's childhood. In the end, by working together, they manage to create a new core memory, and Riley can be happy again. As we already know, there is a decent time jump in the new movie, namely to Riley's adolescence. The emotions joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust are of course back, but it's entirely possible that other emotions will be added during this exciting stage of life. At the D23 Expo, Pixar CCO Pete Doctor revealed that there may be up to 27 emotions in the upcoming sequel. This, he said, is necessary to portray the complex emotions of a young teenage girl. The plot will most likely take place in San Francisco again and will revolve around the complex struggles that a teenager experiences during puberty. Many viewers will be able to identify themselves with topics such as self-doubt, physical transformation, as well as the first butterflies in their tummies. So it may well be that we will witness how the emotions have to cope when Riley is rejected for the first time or hurt by her crush. Perhaps it's also Riley who's upsetting someone else and can't really handle it herself. Nevertheless, the movie will certainly be aimed at a broader audience again, even though the first film was about the emotions of a child. For example, the connections between feelings, memories, and behavior were universally relevant. If the creators put as much passion and excitement into it again, the years-long wait for a sequel will definitely pay off. The release date for Inside Out 2 is currently set for June 14th, 2024. According to the website World of Real, we can expect to see the first teaser trailer for the sequel in November. This would make sense, as it can be attached to Disney's new animation movie Wish, which will release in U.S. theaters on November 22nd. In the recent years, Disney also released first trailers for their big summer movies around November, so it would fit perfectly to build up hype for the sequel early once again. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss it. At least as far as the original cast is concerned, there are some changes. Although Amy Poehler is back as the original voice of Joy, Insider sources indicate that Bill Hader and Mindy Kaling as Fear and Disgust have dropped out. The reason for this is the huge salary range among voice actors. While Polar pocketed as much as $5 million, the other two were barely offered $100,000. And even though Disney wanted to raise their pay, the two declined with thanks. Whether the other dubbing actors will be back is not known so far. The cause for the rather meager wages is said to be Disney's new policy of savings when it comes to animated films. This has already been noticeable in a number of Pixar films, which have been released directly on Disney Plus instead of theaters, such as the story about the afterlife, Soul, the island adventure, Luca, and the adolescent film, Turning Red. The script of Inside Out 2 is already written, which means that the animation process should be in full swing by now. As with the previous movie, the story was written by Meg LaFauve, However, there has been a change as far as the director is concerned. Pete Doctor will be succeeded by Kelsey Mann, who has already gathered animation experience on Onward and The Good Dinosaur, for example. And that was it. All the information about the long-awaited sequel to Inside Out. Are you looking forward to seeing the movie? And what new emotions do you think we can expect? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.